A very good morning. We're glad you're still with us on Morning at NTV. That's the hashtag on Twitter. You can be able to join the conversation and be part of a national discourse. We are heading into our Kickstarter uh, discussion this morning. And of course, I'm Chris Higeni. I'm joined on the show by the deputy spokesperson for the National Unity Platform, Alex Mufumbiro. He will be speaking to us about NUPA's latest actions, including the boycott of Iyala, and of course, why the leading opposition party in the country has taken that course. We shall also be speaking to <coughs> Captain Francis Babu, a senior citizen, seasoned politician, and of course, he will be here to uh, give us perspective on some of the issues that are happening, including why things are happening the way they are. We have always uh, been able to uh, get his opinion that uh, the perspective is always, is always uh, pinpoint, I must say. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. A very good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll begin with uh, Mr. Alex Mufumbiro to give us an update on uh, the National Unity Platform's latest decision to boycott the election of the East African Legislative Assembly. Why for a party that is seeking to make headway as the leading opposition party in the country? Uh, <coughs> first of all, uh, the East African Legislative Assembly is uh, one of the arms uh, uh, that are born out of the treaty mm. of 1999, but later I think ratified in 2002, uh, bringing together countries in the East African region that has now since from the historical boundaries mm. of three countries uganda tanzania and kenya expanding to now uh, drc southern sudan rwanda burundi uh, we are now seven countries yes. i think yes so uh every country uh, the the administration of the east african um, um countries by treaty i think has a secretariat it has a summit. I think those are the heads of state. Yeah. Um, then it has this legislative arm. Now, at the legislative arm, they are, it also has a council of ministers. <coughs> but at the legislative arm is where um, you have uh, members of parliament, uh, supposedly representative of countries, uh, and the treaty talks about, uh, understands the multi-party politics and talks about the f feasible appearance, feasible appearance of mm -hmm. all shades of opinion at the representation. That is why an independent, every independent member of par parliament is independent of the other. Mm. You cannot cluster them together because every person has come independently with their own personal opinion. That is why they don't represent political parties. Mm. But in the wisdom of the East African Court of Justice, still, they said even that shade of opinion ought to be represented. However, here, the opposition is given two slots by the National Resistance Army. They give us two slots. No, the National Resistance Movement. And uh, it is born out of the National Resistance Army. The dispensation now is in um, Can we stick after to that? The, after the, the selection process, mm. the magnanimity of numbers of the NRA in Parliament is an advantage to bulldoze the opposition in electing the members of parliament to even represent that particular shade of opinion. I will give you an example. Before it was about them and uh, the FDC that were taking. Then there was court, I think by Jacob Bolania or the current speaker Anita Mong, about independent, the shade of independence. Mm. And then there was the case of Umbide. And in the case of Umbide, the court clearly spelled out that every person who is in that parliament, every representative, because there are nine slots, mm. probably we are seven. 
because of numerical strength, the two would have gone to the National Resistance, the National Resistance Army. Army. And then the rest would come to us. But the difference is that even after they have selected the six, they go further and determine the two. At the sitting of the Central Executive Committee, the recent one, mm -hmm. you will discover that when the Secretary General of the NRA was presenting to uh, the Central Executive Committee, they introduced the Secretary Generals of those political parties that they would want to endorse. Uh, you are aware they introduced uh, my brother Gerard Siranda and the one of UPC as those that they have good relations with. Now, already that defeats the multi-party spirit of every shade of opinion because these that you want are already your cohorts. Now, we cannot participate in such a selection process that abuses the treaty, which talks about feasibility. Look at the flow of parliament. Who determines the leader of opposition? Who determines the committees, the accounting committees? Why would the rules be different in that arena and then they are also different in the arena of choosing oh, okay. of that the formalities a, of how to choose? That's a preamble. But most importantly... to that uh, particular decision to boycott. Just before you continue, let me uh, bring in Captain uh, Francis Babu to give us what his take is on the IALA and the fact that opposition including, or rather led by NOOP, is concerned that there is bulldozing, just like he has said, of the take-up of the numbers and the slots. Should there be more fairness, for example? First and foremost, thank you very much, and thank you for having us. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful you're welcome. morning. You're welcome. And uh, I would like to thank you for bringing this topic up. When you bring a topic up, you should look at the historical background of mm -hmm. that topic. The East African community, the one which we started, is just at the beginning, is in the startup phase. In the startup phase, they could not make things bigger. In fact, they started with the authority, mm. with the Council of Ministers, and the legislative powers was with the Council of Ministers. In there, they discussed, no, 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 we can't go on. Let's, let's form a nucleus of the Legislative Assembly. Mm -hmm. And they said, look, uh, let's not start with a very big number. Let's start with the nine people from each state. And if possible, let's try and bring them here so that they can talk about, uh, you know, some. And they gave them some legislative powers. Some legislative powers are still with the council. With of the ministers. council of ministers. Now, we would like to see it expanded from nine to a bigger number. Uh -huh. Now, when you have nine people from each nation, it becomes very difficult to choose. So, with the multi-party dispensation, they agreed that the numbers of people in the parliament, or the national parliament, mm. will decide on the numbers of people they bring from each party. So, if you have the majority in the parliament, you are using proportion allowed to bring a certain number of people and your party is supposed to bring them to parliament mm -hmm. so they can be elected. This is happening throughout East Africa. Mm -hmm. So each, so if you have, uh, I'm just using a very quick figure, not yeah. what is in you, but in you. Right. If you have 300 members of parliament and one has 200, they will bring more people and the 100 will bring slightly less people. Now, the problem that came up was that of the independent, which, you know, for many Party, for many people in East Africa, they never realized independence were that important. Yeah. So eventually mm -hmm. it was defined uh, that they should bring at least an at independent. Least independent. Now this is because there are nine slots. Mm -hmm. If we had more slots, maybe there would be more. So at the end of it is that <coughs> the people in parliament, depending on the proportions of their parties in terms of numbers, they decide how many people they bring. Now that's the model uh, we are using. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is the parliament that appoints if you like, elects the members who go to the East African legislature. Technically, it should be the people outside. That's right. But uh, because of uh, the, the startup mode, mm. they are still using parliaments to do this. As time go by, they will have to find a model which allows people to, to be elected directly, like they do in the European Union. Mm. Now, I think uh, 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 any party is free uh, to, to, to oppose, that they don't like the model. 
But if they, you don't like the model, then you come up with a better model. Mm. You cannot just say, oh, this is bad, this is good. No, come up with a model which will work and see if it is going to work the, compared to this particular model. To me, this model is very obvious that the, the number, the people who have got more numbers get more people, mm. and the other members also get more people. Now, the argument is that we have more than one political party in this country. Now, that also brings another problem. Mm. How do you divide these, do you divide? Uh, these numbers? Now, that is also a problem. Whether it is DP, whether it is FDC, whether it is NUP, the point is that at least the, the, every party will be represented. Mm. Now, if the argument is that we have more parties uh, in, 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 in Parliament, that there should be a proportional representation depending on the number of parties, mm -hmm. not on the number of numbers. Oh, yeah. are, are you with me? I'm with you. Uh, then that is a different model. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to sit down and discuss that model. I do not agree that we should be aggrieved, but we should, no, give, give, yeah, we should give an alternative. Yeah. We say, listen, uh, we are more than one party in there. Why don't you allow each party, to uh, even the, the, the one which doesn't have... Uh, too many people, at least to have one Even person. the one that has one yeah, yeah, yeah. MP. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Now, that is a proposal. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm. I do not agree, and uh, um, my, my brother here used the word bulldoze. I think by every time using force mm. on everything, you're the one bulldozing. It's the other way around. Mm. You must come out as a very good politician and give better, uh, better systems. Mm. Because here we're talking about a system. Um, and, and, and I agree entirely. The people are not enough. Mm -hmm. The nine people. Nine people are not yeah, enough. Yeah, we, we need more. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe as we went along, every five years, they would increase the number. Maybe from nine, they go to 12, from 12, they go to 15. That would not be a problem at all. But, but I think there is a total misunderstanding of the East African Legislative Assembly and how it should be elected and this model which was chosen. Now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have any problem if my brother here came out with a model, mm -hmm. any model, and say, we would like it to do, be done this way, but not to bamboozle mm -hmm. the model which is there because it has been working. <laughs> the question is, how can we make it better? I right. agree entirely. Okay. It, it, um, there's, no, there's no perfect model. Allow us to ask uh, Mr. Mufumbi no to give us uh, the National Unity Platform's alternative model for this particular uh, political dispensation. The need to address your concerns, but most importantly, stay attentive to the fact that, well, the numbers are there for all to see. I was just telling you about the, the court process mm. of the two, uh, the three persons. Honorable Anita, among uh, Anita, the speaker, mm. now, Honorable the late Jacob Olanya, and uh, uh, the Honorable Mukasambi. And I told you, now you just say it here, I told you that we would think that these nine slots are divided amongst the seven political parties. But that is okay. not workable given the numbers. Let's, let's go slow, because mm. you're, you're now going to the issue of numbers. Mm. If an independent person, the shade of opinion of an independent is considered, mm. then the issue of representation on the floor of parliament ceases to be that of numbers. Because every independent person is independent of the other. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. I now, see the technicality there. Yes. Now, the issue of number is secured at that level where an independent member of parliament, his independent shade of opinion is considered for a slot. A member of parliament representing a member of parliament, a member, listen, I know first, exactly what you, you're going to say. get their weight. Uh -huh. um, you don't know. A member of parliament representing a political party mm. does not only represent himself on that floor of parliament, but represents particular numbers and shades of opinion of a particular political party to that ideology that they understand. The ideology of an independent is of an independent. Mm. The ideology of a member of parliament is of a political party. Mm. Therefore, this is even having more weight than the other. For example, the Gemma. Gemma has one member of of parliament. Parliament. Yeah. But he is representing the ideology of Gemma and the entire uh, political hierarchy of 
JEMA. That is why they are members of the Inter-Party Organizations Dialogue and they have the same footing in that organization and they are privy to that memorandum because they have representation in parliament. Why then, if you have them, the other side, to assist you in the jurisdiction of that organization, why don't you use the same modus operandi on this floor? Secondly, it is also wrong that the ENA, even if they went by the issue of numbers, mm -hmm. why would they be then involved in choice of even the shade of opinion of the opposition? It is not representative of opposition, as they say, when they are involved <coughs> in the voting of All which right. opposition let me, let, member... Allow me interject there. Which opposition has the member national, is going to allow represent me interject, them? Mr. Mufumbiro, so, the allow me interject, Mr. Mufumbiro. Has the National Resistance Movement written to any opposition party officially informing them of who they think is their preferred candidate? Or party officials have voiced what they feel like have we had official communication? <laughs> in which world are you? No, it's not, it's not a case of... You Tanga in the, Odoi. You're in the world. Tanga for, Odoi. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's where I'm coming. Tanga mm -hmm. Odoi was clear just last week. Revisit your, your, your media outlets. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, he clearly said that they would work. I'm saying Tanga Odoi, that's now the one of the Electoral Commission. The Electoral Commission. But yeah. even to the Central Executive Committee, you must be aware that... They presented names of secretary generals of three political parties. Now, how does that? <laughs> so I think now that answers you, you, your question. You, you seem to have already failed in understanding that you have a chance to present what candidates for these it particular is not about positions. It is not about. You have chosen, for example, to say since you have suggested that these are the ones you're going to work with, you have totally nullified our ability to come forth. Is the, that what the, you're trying to we, say? We are students of history. Mm. We have been around. We know what has been happening and the processes. We know the history of good DP, bad DP. Mm -hmm. Honorable Bombide had been endorsed by the Democratic Party, and Genome 7 made statements in, uh, in Mwende. Was it Mwende or Masindi? About good and bad DP? Mm -hmm. I can't recall so that we particular are, incident. Yes, in that particular incident, it was a function where uh, Genoyo Edikaguta Museveni endorsed the candidature of Mukasambide. Let's go even to the intricacies, because it is not just about that election. We must open wider mm -hmm. this discussion about East Africa. We as Ugandans must get to it. What are the interests? For me, I look at the interests more about us to the political... Uh, to the political... The captain uh, has spoken about a model that can work. As an opposition party, we do believe you have alternative policy that you can put forward. What model do you want right now, I have and just, how effective I have, can I it have be? Just, I have just been enumerating to you that a model which accommodates all the seven parties. Because even by this model that we have, mm. by the issue of numerical strength as it is propelled by them, even when they add on number of seats, it means they will take more using the issue of numbers. Have you petitioned Arusha? We have, no, 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 we have, uh, the National Executive Committee has tasked its legal team to sit, peruse through all those laws, mm. and see how much uh, we can go to the, inter uh, to the East African Court of Justice. Okay, let's wait for that. That is part Let of me the just, uh, we shall wait for that petition and see exactly how it goes and uh, what sentiments will be registered by NOOP and any other opposition political party. Allow me uh, come to the fact that he's concerned, and rightly so, that the National Resistance Movement is able to cajole the system by even suggesting who they can work with. Mm -hmm. Now, this has uh, played out several, many times on the political landscape, where the president, even during campaigns, can say, if you can elect somebody who is agreeable to me and I can work with, it kind of disenfranchises the people to be able to elect their own people they could be wanting, so to speak. Now, when it comes to this level, at this African community, it completely sweeps the ability of opinion from the opposition party to form any kind of constructive uh, uh, debate at the East African Legislative Assembly. When I was uh, doing the, 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 the Constitution of Uganda, mm. they brought up some kind of the proportional representation. Yep. That the Uganda, Uganda should be moved on that model. It was rejected. There's no proportional representation mm. in this country. If there was, 
then we would not even waste time. We would go and see how many people are parties are in Uganda and depending on how many people have voted mm -hmm. and people will be represented in our parliament on that level. Mm -hmm. We will not have uh, these people having one person only. They would bring a number that would be given to them by proportion representation. That one was refused. So proportion representation mm -hmm. is not really going to be accepted by anybody. At the moment, you have to bring it in a constitutional review of this country and even the constitution review of uh, of the yala mm. the representation I'm, I'm i'm very very happy that my brother brought something called ipod mm. even ipod they have rejected yes where they would go and discuss these issues mm. they have said they will not go there now that kind of uh, politics of, uh, of 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 antagonism is not good mm. you should come out with your points and convince the whole country but if you come out with annoyance and every time anything comes out, it, it, it is a war. Uh, we cannot solve any problem. They have got very good points. But I'll give you an example. Mm. Some opposition parties some time back have brought some very good things which have now become law in this country. These are some very good people in the opposition who are very good uh, representatives and who can help us even to, to forge this country to move forward. And therefore, when you start using media outlets for debate, mm. I'm sorry, I will not go with you. I want us to go with facts and very simple things. We've got to work together. And we've got to have a sportsmanship spirit in politics. Mm -hmm. Our politics have become too antagonistic. And I do not accept that kind of politics. Which is something they are afraid of. That no, no, there's no afraid of what? This is our country. The people have been, uh, <coughs> can stand up and say, look, this is what we would like to see bring it up and see if it can be debated. Go through the different uh, organizations we have and you bring your point up. I disagree mm -hmm. with these methods of, 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 of I mean, <laughs> I see everything is war. No. I think we should sit down and find solutions to the problems we have. And the kind of language we use is also very important. I will never underestimate FDC or GEMA or UPC or DP. All of them are important. To this country mm -hmm. because we're in a multi-party dispensation now if you think because you have slightly more people in parliament therefore the others are not as important i disagree with you i think you should also be part of the the fray, the, the fray mm -hmm. and we all sit down and we find solutions to these problems i've just said this you coming today say we want everybody to have one 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 person that is not the model that is your your proposal bring it put it on paper let's debate it even if it takes us five years debating that thing and get people to understand why you've brought it, it eventually may, may, may become law. Uh -huh. So as far as I'm concerned, I do not agree with the methods which are being used by my brother here. I would like you to and, understand. And, and, and no, 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 wait. It's not a matter of understanding. Okay. It's a matter of saying, can we work peacefully, even a football team? I, 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 I love football. Of course. Uh, yeah, my team has been beaten many times. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and when we are playing, yeah. is, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose. Now, in this particular thing, why we say it should be a sportsmanship spirit? My brothers, first of all, should not have boycotted. They should have put their candidate forward. Right. And I should have asked them, I said, our candidate is there, we would like him to be considered. Now, why is it people go to NRM for, to, to, to elect their members? They have the majority of people in parliament. Whether you like it or you don't like it, the model we have demands... And sometimes using that advantage. And and, and, I'm and, coming, and, I'm coming to that one. That is going to be there as long as we have the model we have. <laughs> Now, that's why I'm saying, if you think the model is not good, let's change it. But at the, at the moment, that's the model. On, on, Take it on. on two issues. One, very quickly, very quickly. Uh, on the issue of the model, we have not put our hands down. We have said we are going to the East African Court of Justice. And Captain Francis Babu is a client of that court. Articulate that model. And we, we are going to articulate that motto before courts of law. Because even before the uh, flow of parliament, those rules will not be changed that, because of numbers. That this, and I um, wanted to tell yeah. you, I wanted to tell you that uh, we are not, uh, this has always been forwarded as our facade, mm. antagonism. By us not participating and choosing to go to the East African court, we are not being antagonistic. In You're fact, bad students of history. In fact, FDC in fact, tried that no, wait, and failed. Wait, in fact, antagonism, yeah. it is them who have been antagonistic at that assembly. If he remembers very well Captain Francis Babu, 
uh, the former East African Legislative Assembly mm. Speaker Magwet Ziwa was wrongly, because of intrigue within the NRA, mm. was wrongly censored. <laughs> was wrongly You're censored. You're speaking to Mark. And Who they knows ran. more? And well, this is why I'm, I'm saying. Free. He's free. And, 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 and right. they ran. They ran to court. Everybody mm. remembers that process, that it was witch hunt. Mm. Yeah. They ran to court. We, they got damages of over 320 US dollars in costs. Actually, as five, 580. 580 US. 580,000 US dollars Only. because of antagonism <laughs> in the NRA. Now, how can Only, he be here yeah. and I'm, say I'm, I'm going to talk that about we that. have uh, been uh, we are antagonistic by saying, uh, no. let's not get into mm. that mud. Right. Very good because point. Because it has not been sorted as yet. And he is honestly here. He knows that that is also an issue of the magnanimity of the presidency eh? that <laughs> always influences what happens. And I'm look at the monies we have lost. All Let right. us also look at Mother something is going very making clear. Point. Uh, uh, something about why we all are in this confederation. The issues must be discussed. Mm. Good. In Kenya, it is about economics yes. and Tanzania and others. For us, it is political. What have we gained? When you go to Kenya, you need a permit mm. to work. When somebody comes from Kenya to here, they don't need a permit. It is across all the other countries apart from Uganda. When you go to Kenya, accessing the border, you're given about 90 days. Mm -hmm. You have to come back and cross again and go back. In Uganda, it is different. So what is happening at this it's legislative right, assembly very quickly, that we, we, we ought to have benefited go. from? And uh, these questions mm, can, only, can only be asked when some people say, what a minute, what is this the country is into? All is right. it for all of us? Mm. We signed the SGR. This is expressly how much we must open about the East African Treaty that we are in. That's right. Only Uganda, of the, the all countries that signed, where ours ended at. Okay, Uganda. gentlemen, we're going to no, have to no, wrap this let, up. Let, we don't have a lot of time. I, I, Just I, I, give, I, I, yeah, I agree react to that now, very quickly. Within the NRM, mm. there are people who are bad mannered. And you want them to determine for I'm, the I'm coming. I'm coming. He, he's, he's got a point. He's got a point. And, and they did some wrong things. He's got a point when yeah, he but touched the model. No, no, something that No, no, no. There is a model. Mm. No, no, no. I must recognize the model. That's right. Yeah, but when you talk about people who are bad mannered within the NRA, <laughs> I agree with him. <laughs> now, uh, no, no, because, because you yeah, have to be I fair. Know, I'm yeah, very fair. What he's saying, mm. there are people in NRM also who are antagonistic. Antagonistic, yeah. yeah? There are people in different parties who are antagonistic. Mm. I agree with him entirely. They, they, and those people who are antagonistic, they know that what they are doing is not right. Mm. But let us talk about a model. You see, the reason why I'm slightly different from other people, even if I have people who are antagonistic to me, mm. I always try to go on to the, the reality so that I can wake them up. Mm. I don't agree with some of their behavior, the way they talk, mm. you know, the, way they, the things they say. Yeah, very quickly, Captain. But the model, the model, mm. uh, we, we must agree that's the model uh, existing now. Okay. And we're going to court. We, 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 have to, we, 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 we have to try and change it. Yeah. And if possible, court. increase the number. Yeah. That's right. Or the people going to the... No, 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 I'm talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want us to talk about who are bad manners, <laughs> I'm number one. <laughs> I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> no, gentlemen, it will be bad manners to go beyond the time that have been allotted for this uh, particular Thank conversation. Yes. I do hope it can continue on the platforms and yeah. any other time. Uh, Many thanks, Mr. Alex Mufumbiro. And of course, so we don't want to be in bad manners. Of course, we won't have to be. <laughs> and that is it for the Kickstarter conversation. We, have, we hope the perspective that has been shared here will be able to embolden your own understanding of the issues of the East African Legislative Assembly and uh, drive the new debate forward on how things can be improved. For us at Kickstarter and Morning at NTV, we shall ensure we improve things for you to be, well, fed on update information on the latest issues. Stay with us.